So we're here at the local Walmart. Look what happened to the DVD section. They got rid of their 4Ks and their Blu-rays. This used to be all DVDs. Oh no. So we're here at the local Walmart. Look what happened to the DVD section. They got rid of their 4Ks and their Blu-rays. This used to be all DVDs. Oh no. Oh no. How do I sit? Jesus Christ. Anyways. Say goodbye. Two. Let me grief in peace, Walmart. <laughs> There's no more movies. There's no more movies at Walmart, Allie. Why? Oh, at least I got one lone copy of uh, Matrix Resurrection on Blu-ray. With, with the slipcover. So, I mean, that's, that's cool. No! After the very scary revelation that the other Walmart didn't have any movies, we're gonna check out this Walmart. This was the second best Walmart that I used to go to because they had like a really huge, definitely a substantial section for 4Ks. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't even want to check because I'm scared everything's going to be going under. But let's check it out. The entertainment section. You know what I love this Walmart is that they haven't updated their speaker system in about 25 years. So the shitty audio music really takes me back to my childhood. It seems like they still do the new release section. Nothing really new. Black Adam. You got this Legion of Superheroes. They never got a 4K. Surprising. Then you got here. These are some really nice slipcovers. I like this. It's like old kind of throwback to those like romance novels. Wow, wow, look at this. Of the, an embossed DVD slipcover. That is insane. Then just a bunch of your DVDs. Oh wow, look at that. Terrifier 2 on Blu-ray. Now I think I'll pick this up. I don't know. I might actually because my first time seeing the Blu-ray here and everyone keeps hyping it up saying, oh my god. So it's just such a great movie. But here we got the only 4K that we've seen so far. Lyle Lyle Crocodile. Oh look at that. Are these new slipcovers for the DVDs? No idea, but you got a whole lot of emptiness here. Then on this side, Wakanda Forever. No UHDs. No 4Ks. And it's currently Wednesday, so it's a, we're the day after. But I'm glad to get this with a slipcover. This is actually a really nice looking slip. I really do enjoy this. There's no French on it too. But yeah, it seems like they totally switched around the uh, section. Before this used to be 4Ks. Then you get your Blu-rays and the DVD stuff. But it seems like it's just been dismantled. Which I can understand, you know, I don't think that sales are that much. Because it's still here. The other section, there was nothing there, so. I was walking around the other side, the superhero section, they actually have 4Ks here. That's nice. They got all these No Way Homes without slip. Thor 11 Thunders, with the slip though. But yeah, I think those are the only 4Ks here. Superhero stuff, which I can guess why, because it's just mass produced to shit. See, I love this slipcover, I love this artwork. It's just, damn, look at that. Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. We got something. Yeah, I forgot to show this yeah, Look at this. Yeah, because it comes with all the seasons. They have more than slip covers. This is cool. Yeah. I but saw one cool. uh, Ninja Turtles. This is 4K for the first season. Very nice. All right, and we are back in the safety and security of our homes. Uh, I'm going to re-record this because I did a first take of this and I sounded way too negative on the movie Terrifier and Damien, Damien Leon, Damien, Damien Leon. Um, I watched, prior to this, I watched the first Terrifier and I watched All Hallows Eve. I wasn't the biggest fan of that. It's more, more schlock, less substance, but again, there's a crowd for everything and I do agree that there is a lot of creativity within the gore elements, a lot of 
really ambitious scenes, really gnarly graphic scenes. So if you're really into high quality special effects, gore, practical effects, gore, no CG bullshit, you're gonna love those movies. I just came in expecting, because I literally just watched, after wa before watching All Hallows Eve and Terrifier 1, I watched uh, the Thing, which is basically kind of, not the, it's not the same premise, but it's the same vibe of extremely graphic and intense practical effects, but there's a lot of substance toward that, and I know it's really um, <clears throat> stupid of me to try to compare Terrifier, All Hallows Eve, an extremely low budget film to John Carpenter's masterpiece, but I don't know, just my brain is weird, so I, I, I deleted that take because I, I said I hated the movie. I didn't necessarily hate it, uh, but there is things I disliked, but there's a lot of also things that I did like. So when I heard that Terrifier 2 was actually a pretty good movie, a lot more depth to it, a lot more you know, better performances, a better storytelling, um, I was really eager to check it out. As you saw, I only was able to find DVDs for for the past few hunts, but I finally found it on Blu-ray. So as soon as I saw that, I had to I had to pick it up. Also, this slip cover is fantastic. Probably one of my favorite slip covers of the year, and it was cheap. It was like sixteen dollars, so I had to pick it up. Absolutely fantastic. A pretty minty looking slip cover. Here's the back, and then what's cool about this also is that the insert. The Blu-ray insert is a different artwork, which is also really nice. Unfortunately, no uh, no uh, nice artwork in terms of uh, the disc art, but there is no off-gassing. This is not a greasy case, so that is another bonus point in my, uh, what's it called, repertoire and my grading skills. Also, I just, dude, I just really love the slip cover. It really reminds me of those Scream Factory slip covers. This feels extremely premium, and it was like super cheap. Uh, also, I love to support independent filmmakers. As soon as A24 is everything ever all at once, even though that's not even close to when it comes to independence film as this. This is an extremely independent film. I supported that film day one and um, I finally was able to secure a package. I was hoping there'd be some kind of artwork on the inside, maybe a slip, maybe something, but it's fine. It was an extremely micro budget film, $250,000. And imagine back in the day, half a million dollars, like when the first Friday the 13th movie came out and it was told that it was half a million dollars and everyone's like wow that's a low budget movie but that's half a million dollars in 1979 money this is a quarter of a million dollars in 2020 2021 money so um, I can't imagine that but there is a lot of passion behind this film that I'm really, really excited to check out on Blu-ray. The 4K itself was never released here in Canada, so if I wanted to get the 4K, it would have been $60, which is a bit much for a movie that I don't have much of a high expectations for it. Obviously, uh, I'm, I'm expecting a lot of really good gore, a lot of really cool sequences of that. And I heard there's a lot of fun uh, cameos. I think Chris Jericho makes like a, a really small cameo. Other celebrities and stuff like that will make cameos. and. It's, we're getting decent uh, reviews, like even uh, your, not your movie sucks, but yeah, your movie sucks.org gave it like a 5 out of 10. And I'm like, wow, he's extremely cynical. And when he gives this movie, because uh, he gave the first movie like a 1. And I know I don't, you shouldn't really let uh, crit critics judge base, judge your uh, opinion. Uh, but when I did watch it, I wasn't a big fan of the first movie and those short films. But uh, I heard this was fantastic. I heard it's a bit longer. I've heard it's a bit longer in the tooth. I think it's almost. I think it's like two hours plus, and that sounds a bit daunting. But I just had to pick it up. You know, I I, I haven't been able to see this, and yeah. So that was today's pickup. I also wanted to mention that nothing at that first Walmart. That was my go-to Walmart. If you've watched my past hunts, that Walmart at South Common Mall. I used to find everything there. There was a lot of really cool 4Ks. My first ever retail 4K Blu-rays, besides Best Buy, was from there. I got the Joker, I got Jaws, I got a bunch of stuff. And it's sad to see that it's all disappearing and switching on to uh, online. But what's kind of cool about that is there's there's a lot of US retailers that are now being able to sell through Walmart. Like I saw a deep discount, which is a US only. They're actually now selling on Walmart. So if you're in Canada, if you want to check that out, that's actually really interesting. I think they have the the Pulp Fiction Steelbook for $39, which is a great deal, especially if you compare it to what Sunrise Records or Cinema One or whatever, you know, other main retailers here in Canada are selling it for, I think like $79, $59, some, some, some egregious price. Uh, so 
that is a give and takes, you know. I don't really mind paying online for things if I can get it within a good condition, if it's packed nicely, and if the shipping doesn't charge me up the ass, because I know sometimes they just make an excuse for to charge you $15, $20 shipping. Now, if it's being shipped from the US or whatever, I can understand that, but if it's like down the road, I don't know, dude. But again, as a small business myself, I can see how the, the shipping can get a bit much. But um, they're a multi-billion dollar company. You'd think they'd have better ways, better outlets, better deals to ship around through Canada Post or through whatever. Uh, but yeah, that first Walmart was sad. But thankfully, the second Walmart did have a few things. You know, I'm mainly a 4K collector. So it was depressing in that sense. But they still had some Blu-rays, some DVDs. Uh, they were mainstays. But besides that... Uh, it was a bit depressing to see the downfall of Walmart, especially because I just started collecting about a year, year and a half, almost two years actually. And when I first started, there were so many options to buy Blu-rays and 4Ks. Now I'm seeing the downfall of it and I kind of wish I got into 4K collecting earlier. I wish I got into it when I was in high school or something like that. Because I see a lot of reviews and uh, what's it called? Hunting videos from people in 2018, 2016, 2017. And there's so much cool stuff here. Even here in Canada, the Best Buys and stuff like that. The Future Shops and that kind of stuff. So it's kind of sad to see the direction of the way, you know, inbox stores are just dwindling especially those kind of not department stores but those big box stores are dwindling down their section because again it's, it's not a really feasible thing here in Canada at least I know down in the U down in the United States you're seeing signs of it for the most part it's it's quite stocked but here in Canada uh, again we have not even uh, half the population of the United States I think w all of Canada is the exact same population of New York, which is insane because New York is only one out of, what, 15, 20 states in the United States? And so, because I think there's a couple hundred million people. Here in Canada, it's only 38 million, which is obviously why the market isn't as big, Can because we have to print everything out ourselves and, you know, there's French and English and all those kind of things. It just it just takes a lot and it, it takes it costs quite a bit of money. So I can see why here in Canada it's an extremely rapid downturn when it comes to that. But again, I'm in the epicenter of Canada. I'm in the most populated uh, province, Ontario. So I really don't have that many problems with securing things if I really wanted it. Again, I'd probably have to pay an upcharge. Like um, Bubba Hotep came out recently and I can secure a copy of it but it's gonna cost me sixty dollars which is like what 50 52 USD which is insane because I think it's going for like 29 or something like that so it's it's an insane markup and that's probably why these Walmarts or Best Buys aren't really don't really want to invest it like like I remember seeing people in uh, like down in the United States 4K D Ray mid level media they go to their Best Buys and they see Kino Lorbers dude I would nut my pants if I saw Kino Lorber just sitting there on the shelves of Best Buy but whatever it's it's whatever you know um so yeah that was today's hunt a bit depressing but I was able to find something. So that was a cool thing. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like and subscribe. Oh, I also want to mention, I want to thank you all to whoever reached out to me about the custom slip covers. That really meant a lot to me. It's been a huge passion of mine and I'm so happy that it's been fruitful enough to where I, I, you know, I can see it as like a really cool thing to do. Uh, so I was able to uh, fulfill everyone who reached out to me. I know there's a couple people, Rob Montoya, uh, so uh, who hasn't reached out to me yet. So. In the description is my Instagram if you are also interested in uh, picking up a slip, custom slip cover for yourself or getting a few. Uh, I'm only charging $9.99 USD, obviously plus shipping. We can talk that out. But anyways, Instagram's down below if you want to reach out to me. But again, I am Ace from the Monica Buster YouTube channel. Please have yourself a good day, night, evening, afternoon, morning, whenever you're watching this. Please stay safe and God bless. Peace, cheers, long and physical media. See you guys. Ooh.